previously on Sailing Ruby Rose. 1370 on number one, 200 mile shakedown cruise. Well, there you go, sails up. Steve went 1370. Well, it's the end of uh, detected water. Now we're going to get into open water, so we'll see exactly how it goes. Not going to lie to you, yesterday was not pleasant. Wind's knocking uh, 22, 25, gusting 30. This boat, it can take it. Yeah, clearly, the boat is far, far stronger than I. Beautiful, calm conditions behind this rock, but as soon as we get back out there, another shellacking. After six hours anchored behind the rock, the crew are well rested and it's time to head back out to sea. There's a pretty fresh breeze going on. With the anchor raised and stowed, we are back out to sea. Now at this point, the wind is even fresher. We have got three reefs in the main and we are getting the jib out, but leaving a couple of wraps in that. Honestly, it is very, very fresh. Now, a lot of you have asked about performance. No, I have not been muzzled, but it's very, very difficult to get performance when the sea state is like this. But we are heading probably between nine and 11 knots beating into the wind here. So that is the boat speed. In addition to this, we have got an apparent wind angle between 55 and 65 degrees off the wind, which for us is pretty damn good. But the sea state, again, I am holding on here, one, to try and keep my breakfast down, but also just because it is pretty rough. But no squeaks, no problems with the boat, just a lot of spray and a lot of kind of like bouncing off those waves. What's the speed, Phil? About eight knots. What's the wind speed? About 25, average 25. Another question we get asked is why would you set off into this weather? Well, I wasn't the skipper, but Sea Wind wanted to test the boat. This is the entire reason this boat is being sent up to the Chang to beat into heavy weather. The harder you thrash the boat, the better you can work out if the boat is going to be tough enough for those circumnavigations that so many owners have planned. So, apologies for the look. Day four on passage. Well, I guess that's what you get after four days of being tossed about. But today we are we've got about 45 miles to run. We anchored off in this tiny little fishing village. It's flat, calm. Skipper's getting a briefing done for the crew. And um, we're just going to get the engine started. I think today we're going to motor sail. The wind forecast is for much less wind. So fingers crossed because, yeah, it's been a pretty sketchy few days. I've always had top five roughest sails I've ever had. Anyway, beautiful sunrise. And um, yeah, time for us to, to go up the coast, up the coast. Morning, Stefan. Here's our happy crew, all uh, starting their morning coffee with their breakfasts from around the world. So let's, uh, I'll report that later. So after the relative insanity of the last three days, Looks like the last few hours is going to be none of what I signed up for, which is oh, a nice little motor off the coast. Maybe I should have bought a motor boat, eh? but not. So yeah, it's actually no, it's a, it's a nice end to this leg of the journey. Top tip, whenever I travel on other people's boats, I pack my own supplies to a certain extent. My own things, life jacket, obviously, harness, obviously and tea bags. I really am quite English sometimes, but I have turned into my own mother. But yeah, so I managed to uh, brew up a cup of tea on the induction hob, which is amazing. Like it heats up, you know, enough for a cup of tea in 30 seconds, which is all I really need in life. So yeah, so I've got a cup of tea and um, about three, four hours to run to into the Chang. I've heard that it's check-in, despite the fact we've only done a coastal cruise, is a very long process. So I expect to be kept on the boat for three or four hours, but in that time I'll pack everything up. I have a hotel book for tonight, and after three days of lying around, trying not to throw up, dry retching, eating bits of bread and water, 
I'm going to have a very, very, very long shower. I'm going to have a very large meal and I'm going to sleep. Then I'm going to go out and see how many beers I can drink before I fall over. So finally, after four days, four days, the crew are, well, we're within sight of Nachang. I reckon we've got a couple of hours to run. There's a big party island, like a big resort island, off the coast of Nachang and after Ho Chi Minh. Nachang is the place I've been to the most. So yeah, so we'll go around there, we're the marina we've been to before, we went to a, a regatta there, a regatta, regatta, uh, last year, so we'll head in there and go and see uh, go and see the staff there, we also need to check in, the Chang, here we come, here we are, the end of a very arduous, arduous four days, the Chang marina, finally, we've uh, just had a quick briefing from uh, our skipper, Stefan, who's telling us exactly where he wants us all, where the lines are going to be and he's going to take a, an idea of placement wind direction before deciding whether we more port to or starboard to and uh, we have a welcoming committee so oh, yeah. i hate welcoming committees because when i ha have a welcoming committee and things go tips up but nothing's going to go tips up today i will film as much as i can because i actually need to help but glad to be here finally yeah finally at the chang after four hectic days the three hectic days one not so hectic day one really nice chill morning where I wasn't throwing up and I got a good meal down my neck and a hot shower and all the things. Anyway, I'll put the camera down, go and help these guys tie up and I'll see you back on the dock side. Landing bell. You're about 12 meters out, Stefan. Slower down, slower down. Yep, yeah. reverse. Yeah, yeah, reverse, yeah, Stefan. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. So just a quick point about the arrival at the Chang. The check-in process was complicated and complicated because the Chang Marina and the authorities are not used to seeing a foreign flag yacht arriving, even though it was from Ho Chi Minh. So there was a lot of paperwork to do there before we were allowed to get off the boat. The second thing is the staff at the Chang Marina, just so polite, arrived with flowers, a really lovely formal welcome. And unfortunately, we had to kind of adhere to the formal check-in procedures. But yeah, lovely to receive flowers and Steph and receiving the bouquet with uh, dignity. Anyway, there we go. Leg one finished. Leg one, what can I say? I'm glad I did it, don't wanna do it again. Tested the boat, tested me, didn't have my sea legs, threw up for two days. But that boat is strong, like super, super strong. So yeah, very, very happy that I've done it. And now I'm in this beautiful marina, Anna Marina in Nechang. Hope you enjoyed this one. In the next episode, I'll be sailing downwind, the easy episode, back to Ho Chi Minh. So, thanks for liking, thanks for subscribing, thanks for commenting. I'll see you all next week. Take care, goodbye.